Uh, so I assume that you've probably gone and started using Sublime Text to transition your way into Vim, which is all well and good, but you're not going to want to stay there forever because you'll still be kind of limited and Vim has way more power than just that. And so, uh, actually, if you haven't yet, check out this video on my face right now and uh, go do that first. We'll be here when you get back, I promise. So anyway, if you're ready to make the switch, which I hope you are, let's go over to GitHub because I've made a custom Vim configuration file for your using pleasure. We'll copy the URL, go into the terminal. Uh, we will get to clone that shit into, oops, into our computer. Wait for it to download a sec, and then we'll CD into uh, easing into Vim because that's the name of it. Now look inside the folder, and you will see this install.sh file, this Bash script I made to help uh, just install this. It's actually pretty simple. You can look at it if you know Bash. Um, it's also really easily reversible. It makes a backup of your current VimRC if you have one, so you don't scream at me if you lose all your stuff. So, all right, ready to go. Now, stop. One thing I want to say real quick is that. We've been talking a lot about when you go into the terminal, you use VIM, Vim, to open up Vim. That's all well and good, and you'll eventually want to start doing that. But to start off, we'll actually want to use instead one of the graphical versions of Vim, like Mac Vim if you're using Mac, or GVim if you're using Linux or Windows or something like that. And uh, the reason for that is because they allow you to like click and stuff with the mouse. They allow you, it's just kind of easier to transition into. So uh, we'll do that. We'll type in MVim. Uh, and move them because, well, we want to use MacVim. So let's do that. Open it up. And you can look at the readme yourself because I assume you're literate and uh, look at all the different commands. The main thing to keep in mind is that most of the regular commands you're used to is say like in Kablime, sub Kablime text. Sublime text is that, uh, you know, you'd hit like maybe control S to save. Here with this setup I made, it's use space S. So instead of control, just use space for a lot of these. Space O to open files, space T to open a new tab, blah, blah, blah. One last thing I want to tell you though, before we part and you get rolling, is that we've also installed this plugin called control P, which will help you fuzzy search for files, which will be super useful. And you can do that by hitting space F, think fuzzy or file or fun, because it is. And so hit space F and you'll down, see down at the bottom that different files have appeared. And these are all the files that are inside the current directory that we opened mvim in, in the terminal. Got it? So uh, you can start typing any letter. Let's say we want to open up the readme file, huh? So we can hit D because D is in readme. And uh, we can also hit maybe E because that's later on after D in the readme file and hit enter. And you see, boom, it's ready to go. So this will be super fast in opening up other files, the vimrc file, for instance, the readme, whatever. It'll be really quick and snappy. So anyway, uh, have some fun. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I want to hear them. So talk to you soon. Good luck.